Egypt is a gift of the Nile, but the Nile is a gift of Ethiopia. These were the words of Winston Churchill, who was serving as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during the Second World War. In making this quote, Churchill was acknowledging the fact that the Nile River originates in Ethiopia and flows through several African countries before reaching Egypt. He recognized the importance of Ethiopia as a key partner in the management and development of the Nile River's resources and the need for cooperation and collaboration among the Nile Basin countries to ensure the sustainable use of the river's waters. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, widely known as the GERD, is one of the most controversial infrastructure projects in Africa's history. Located on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia, the GERD is a massive hydroelectric dam that has been under construction since 2011. While the project is intended to provide electricity to Ethiopia and neighboring countries and boost economic development in the region, its impact on the downstream countries of Egypt and Sudan has been a major source of tension and conflict. The GERD has sparked a heated debate over water rights, regional geopolitics, and the future of the Nile River, which is a vital source of water for millions of people in the region. In this video, we will explore the history, controversy, and potential consequences of the GERD, shedding light on one of the most important and contentious issues in Africa today. The idea of building a dam on the Blue Nile River dates back to the 1950s when Ethiopia began exploring the potential of its rivers for hydropower generation. The GERD project was officially launched in 2011, with the goal of providing electricity to Ethiopia and neighboring countries and supporting the country's economic development. The dam is located in the Benishengul Gumas region of Ethiopia, near the border with Sudan, and is expected to have a capacity of 6,450 megawatts. The GERD has been a source of controversy since its inception, with downstream countries of Egypt and Sudan expressing concerns over the dam's impact on the flow of the Nile River. Egypt, in particular, has expressed concerns over the potential reduction of water flow downstream, which could affect its water supply and agriculture. Sudan, on the other hand, has expressed support for the project, but has also raised concerns over the potential impact on its own water supply and infrastructure. The GDRD has been a massive undertaking, with construction requiring the relocation of thousands of people and the mobilization of thousands of workers and engineers. The dam is designed to be one of the largest in Africa and is expected to generate significant electricity for Ethiopia and the region, while also serving as a symbol of national pride and development. However, the project has been controversial from the start, with downstream countries expressing concerns over the potential impact on the flow of the Nile River. Egypt, in particular, has been vocal in its opposition to the project, with officials warning of the potential for water shortages and environmental damage. The dispute over the GERD has been a major source of tension between Egypt and Ethiopia, with both countries engaging in diplomatic efforts to resolve the issue. The controversy over the GERD stems from concerns over the potential impact of the dam on downstream countries, particularly Egypt and Sudan. Egypt relies heavily on the Nile River for agriculture, industry, and domestic use, and any reduction in water flow could have serious consequences for its economy and population. There are concerns that the GERD could reduce the amount of water flowing downstream, which could lead to water scarcity, crop failures, and other environmental and social impacts. Egypt has been vocal in its opposition to the project, calling for a binding agreement on the filling and operation of the dam to ensure that its water supply is protected. Egypt has also raised concerns over the potential damage to downstream ecosystems and the impact on cultural heritage sites in the region. Sudan has expressed support for the project, but has also raised concerns over the potential impact on its own water supply and infrastructure. The dispute over the GERD has been a major source of tension between Egypt and Ethiopia, with both countries engaging in diplomatic efforts to resolve the issue. The dispute has also highlighted broader geopolitical tensions in the region, with other countries and international organizations taking sides or offering mediation efforts. The dispute has also raised concerns over the potential for conflict, with both countries having large militaries and a history of political tensions. Ethiopia has defended the GERD project, 
arguing that it is necessary for its economic development and that it will not harm downstream countries. Ethiopia has also rejected calls for a binding agreement, arguing that it would infringe on its sovereignty and development rights. Ethiopia has also accused Egypt of trying to maintain its historical dominance over the Nile River and of using the GERD dispute as a means of exerting political pressure on Ethiopia. The dispute over the GERD has also had economic consequences, with both Egypt and Ethiopia facing potential economic losses if the issue is not resolved. Egypt could face significant losses to its agricultural and industrial sectors if the flow of the Nile is reduced, while Ethiopia could face economic sanctions or other forms of pressure if the dispute is not resolved. The dispute over the GERD has also highlighted the broader issue of water scarcity in the region, with many countries facing growing demand for water resources amid increasing population and economic growth. The dispute has underscored the need for coordinated and collaborative efforts to manage shared resources and ensure sustainable development in the region. Efforts to resolve the dispute over the GERD have been ongoing, with various international organizations and countries offering mediation efforts. However, the dispute remains unresolved, with both Egypt and Ethiopia continuing to hold firm positions on the issue. The GERD dispute is a complex and contentious issue that highlights the challenges of managing shared resources in a region where water scarcity is a growing concern and underscores the need for collaborative and sustainable development efforts. The dispute over the GERD has also highlighted the challenge of balancing economic development and environmental sustainability. While the GERD is intended to provide electricity and promote economic development in the region, there are concerns over the potential environmental impacts of the dam, including the displacement of local communities and the loss of biodiversity. The dispute has underscored the need for sustainable development practices that take into account the social, economic, and environmental impacts of infrastructure projects. The GDRG dispute has also had implications for regional security and stability. The dispute has highlighted broader geopolitical tensions in the region and has increased the risk of conflict between Egypt and Ethiopia. The dispute has also raised concerns over the potential for other countries in the region to become involved in the conflict, potentially exacerbating regional tensions and instability. Efforts to resolve the GERD dispute have been ongoing, with various international organizations and countries offering mediation efforts. The African Union has been involved in the mediation process, as have the United States and the European Union. However, progress has been slow, with both Egypt and Ethiopia continuing to hold firm positions on the issue. The GDRD dispute has also had implications for the broader issue of water governance in the region. The Nile River is a shared resource that affects multiple countries, and the GERD dispute has highlighted the need for more effective and collaborative approaches to water governance. The dispute has underscored the need for regional cooperation and coordination in managing water resources and ensuring sustainable development in the region. The GERD dispute has also had implications for the broader issue of international law and norms. The dispute has raised questions over the rights of upstream countries to build infrastructure projects on shared waterways and the obligations of downstream countries to ensure the rights of other countries are respected. The dispute has underscored the need for a more robust legal framework for managing shared water resources and resolving disputes between countries. The GERD dispute is a complex and contentious issue that has significant implications for the region and beyond. The dispute highlights the challenges of managing shared resources in a region where water scarcity is a growing concern and underscores the need for collaborative and sustainable development efforts. The dispute also highlights the challenge of balancing economic development and environmental sustainability and the need for effective water governance practices that take into account the social, economic, and environmental impacts of infrastructure projects. Ultimately, the resolution of the GERD dispute will require a collaborative and sustained effort by all parties involved and will serve as a test case for future water governance and international law norms. The GDRD has the potential to have significant consequences for the region, both positive and negative.
On the positive side, the dam is expected to provide significant electricity generation capacity for Ethiopia, which currently suffers from a lack of reliable and affordable electricity. The dam is also expected to provide electricity to neighboring countries, potentially boosting regional economic development and integration. However, the GERD also has the potential to have negative consequences for downstream countries, particularly Egypt and Sudan. These countries rely heavily on the Nile River for agriculture, industry, and domestic use, and any reduction in water flow could have serious consequences for their economies and populations. There are concerns that the GERD could reduce the amount of water flowing downstream, which could lead to water scarcity, crop failures, and other environmental and social impacts. The dispute over the GERD has also had significant geopolitical consequences, with Egypt and Ethiopia engaging in diplomatic efforts to resolve the issue. There are concerns that the dispute could escalate into a full-blown conflict, with both countries having large militaries and a history of political tensions. The dispute has also highlighted broader geopolitical tensions in the region, with other countries and international organizations taking sides or offering mediation efforts. The GERD has also had significant environmental consequences, with concerns over the potential damage to downstream ecosystems and biodiversity. There are also concerns over the potential displacement of local communities and the impact on cultural heritage sites in the region. The construction of the dam has already led to the relocation of thousands of people and the inundation of large areas of land, which has had significant social and environmental impacts. In addition, the GERD has had economic consequences for both Egypt and Ethiopia. Egypt is concerned that the GERD could reduce the flow of the Nile River downstream, which could lead to water shortages and damage to its agricultural and industrial sectors. In contrast, Ethiopia sees the GERD as a crucial element of its economic development strategy and has invested heavily in the project. If the GERD dispute is not resolved, it could have significant economic consequences for both countries. Moreover, the GERD dispute has the potential to undermine regional integration and cooperation. The dispute has highlighted the challenges of managing shared resources in a region where water scarcity is a growing concern and underscores the need for collaborative and sustainable development efforts. However, the dispute has also raised tensions between Egypt and Ethiopia and could undermine efforts to promote regional integration and cooperation. The GERD dispute has also highlighted the broader issue of water governance in the region and the need for more effective and collaborative approaches to water management. The Nile River is a shared resource that affects multiple countries, and the GERD dispute has underscored the need for regional cooperation and coordination in managing water resources. The dispute has also highlighted the need for more effective legal frameworks for managing shared water resources and resolving disputes between countries. Efforts to resolve the GERD dispute have been ongoing, with various international organizations and countries offering mediation efforts. However, progress has been slow, with both Egypt and Ethiopia continuing to hold firm positions on the issue. The dispute is currently at a critical juncture, with Ethiopia planning to begin filling the dam in July 2021, despite objections from downstream countries. The coming months will be crucial in determining the future of the GERD and the broader issue of water governance in the region. The GERD dispute has also highlighted the potential of water scarcity to exacerbate existing tensions and conflicts in the region. The Nile River is a vital source of water for multiple countries, and any reduction in water flow could have significant consequences for the region's food security, economic development, and overall stability. The GERD dispute has underscored the need for effective water governance practices and greater regional cooperation in managing shared water resources and addressing water scarcity. In addition, the GERD dispute has had implications for the broader issue of energy security in the region. The dam is expected to provide significant electricity generation capacity for Ethiopia, which currently suffers from a lack of reliable and affordable electricity. The dam could also provide electricity to neighboring countries, potentially boosting regional economic development and integration.
However, the GDRD dispute has highlighted the challenges of balancing energy security with the need to manage shared water resources in a sustainable and equitable manner. The GDRD dispute has also had implications for the broader issue of climate change. The Nile River Basin is expected to be heavily impacted by climate change, with rising temperatures and changing precipitation patterns affecting water availability and quality. The GDRD dispute has highlighted the need for more effective adaptation measures to address the impacts of climate change on shared water resources and to ensure that water is managed in a sustainable and equitable manner. The GDRD dispute has also raised questions over the role of external actors in regional disputes. The dispute has attracted the attention of various international organizations and countries, with some offering mediation efforts and others taking sides in the dispute. Some have raised concerns over the potential for external actors to exacerbate tensions or undermine regional cooperation in their efforts to resolve the dispute. The GDRD dispute highlights the need for external actors to approach regional disputes with sensitivity and to work collaboratively with regional actors to promote sustainable solutions. Moreover, the GDRD dispute has had implications for the broader issue of national sovereignty and development rights. Ethiopia has defended the GERD project as a crucial element of its economic development strategy and has rejected calls for a binding agreement on the filling and operation of the dam, arguing that it would infringe on its sovereignty and development rights. The GDRD dispute highlights the need for a more nuanced approach to sovereignty and development rights that takes into account the interdependence of countries and the need for collaborative approaches to managing shared resources. The GDRD dispute has also had implications for the broader issue of international law and norms. The dispute has raised questions over the rights of upstream countries to build infrastructure projects on shared waterways and the obligations of downstream countries to ensure the rights of other countries are respected. The GDRD dispute highlights the need for a more robust legal framework for managing shared water resources and resolving disputes between countries, as well as the need for greater adherence to international norms and principles. The resolution of the GERD dispute will require a collaborative and sustained effort by all parties involved, and will serve as a test case for future water governance and international law norms. The dispute also highlights the need for external actors to approach regional disputes with sensitivity and to work collaboratively with regional actors to promote sustainable solutions. Ultimately, the GERD dispute underscores the need for a more nuanced and collaborative approach to managing shared resources in a region facing growing water scarcity and climate change impacts. By working together, countries in the region can ensure that the Nile River continues to serve as a vital source of water and economic development for generations to come, while also addressing the social, economic, and environmental impacts of infrastructure projects and promoting greater regional cooperation and stability. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe so as to enable our content reach a wider audience. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.